Just because you see one of your dream slits from 1999 for $200 doesn't mean you should buy a $200 slit. What a beaut. Well, let's take a look at what we got for $200. There's obvious problems of needing a bumper. Skis are completely dry rotted. Yeah. Trailing on both sides. The other side of the welding. We welded a steel plate to a chrome molly arm with stick, you know, that will do the other time. It's fading and they said it needed a throttle cable, so right here, a grip. Oh and the bars. The bars are broken. Oh that's good. What are the chances that that works? Probably none. Grip here. Well, it's got a heater. One positive thing. Seat. Looks good probably on video until you start pointing out that as soon as you first time to sit on it, it's going to blow right through. It's in the trunk. Grip. Random pieces of things. Oil control lever. That's not good. <clears throat> Just a bunch of crap. Ooh. Too bad. Oh, that foam is. What do we got here? Expires 2020. This was written in 2020. I don't know about that. Now, in the 20th century, 21st century, going into the 20s, from the 20th century going into the second quarter of the 21st century, that we'd say 12 years is enough. I think 12 years is enough in the, going into 20, 30, 40, 50. Oh, there's no headlight bulb. Seem to be all there. There's the old throttle cable. This doesn't look like an old throttle cable. This looks like a new throttle cable that's broken. What do you want to bet those carbs are seized? Ooh, what's that? A butt connector. What's that going on there? He's got a NBRP noisemaker. He said there was a small fire. I don't see any. There's a hose. All these hoses are loose. What's that all about? Weird. Said it would fire off ether. So let's go ahead and prove that. Oh. Yeah, there's a mouse nest. Well, it's not even on there. Is there a bolt? I hope it wasn't firing off either. Looks like human hair. <laughs> Those are. Well, that's not seized. Not seized. Oh. Okay. Well, that one's a little tighter, but not tight. It's not even hooked up. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's looking better every minute. What's this? Kind of connected. Is that part of the headlight? Sure is. 
I did notice there's a huge hornet's nest in here. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, that one's not even tight. Nope, not tight. Well, that's concerning. There's no coolant. This is turning bad fast. There's an estimation of somewhere between 700 billion and a trillion, 300 million billion dollars. No metal. Looks good. Top of the piston looks great. This side. Ooh. We got trouble. Let's turn her over. What's this? Oh, more of that. Ooh, ooh, oh. Get this piece of junk off here. I think I have the proper tools to do it. Oh, a little grease goes a long way. An M6 by one. Little lube. Who knows it's in these threads. Feels kinda gummy. Hmm, there's my missing oil, oil pump lever. Can we get it? We'll just take the whole thing out because that spring did not want to come off there. Ooh, we're beat up. <sighs> Surprised there's no trees growing in here with as many leaves as we got. Oh, we got more butt connectors. Crimp, they're just crimped with the pliers. There's a little coolant in there. Man, that's a lot of RTV. Doesn't look like I can get the last two manifold bolts without pulling this first. Zip tie. I don't remember it being a zip tie. I remember it being a spring. Another zip tie. Hey, free, free spark plug. BK. R80. I don't think that's the right one. It's in good shape. be an issue. Definitely aren't Raven. <laughs> some, some of the good stuff in there. Might be a minute. At least now I can get to them. No aluminum. It's good. More glue. How's that look? Not too bad. A crudely welded, huh? Suppose the uh, flywheel came off at one point. It probably isn't a flywheel. It's probably. Do you think the recoil came apart? Ooh. 
certainly looks like a piece of it. And then crank it over, but why is that one so much shorter? Ooh. Oh, they're different. So why is that one broken? And, nope. Ooh. That one's bad. That one's not good at all. Over a billion, two hundred, a trillion, two hundred billion dollars. The glue. This. <laughs> Look at the glue. Just RTV that head back on. You don't need O-rings. Wow. <laughs> There's no ring land whatsoever. That side looks good. Yeah, this side looks brand new. Besides all the RTV down there. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? <laughs> that, that should help with cooling. Mm -hmm. You know, plugging up this port makes more pressure on this side. That short bolt was there over the valve. They had that short bolt over here, and that's why this valve is stuck, because they crammed that damn thing right in there and probably cracked it and... Yeah, so my good cylinder is also screwed up. Ooh. Ah. Eh. That's got to be like a hundred foot-pounds. Eh. Actually, the cylinder doesn't look too terrible there. The piston is throttled. I bet you'd turn over a lot easier now. <clears throat> well, it doesn't. Probably some crank issues. Well, this one still has Teflon on it. Oh, that crank is jacked. Oh, we gotta put these other line there. Oil feed. Oh, they all went right down inside. <laughs> Ooh. Rusted. Not sure what this port's for, but nothing was on it. So that couldn't have been good. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to be there. Oh man. How do you do that? I think the whole thing's pooched now, isn't it? What do you think's behind this electrical tape? Butt connectors, broken wires, things just twisted together. Well, that got hot. And they're all just wrapped up together and there's no jacket left. Could have been the source of his fire. It heads all these little bolts <laughs> Just about stripped. I didn't get two of them. I had to weld them out. Is this the first good part of the whole thing? Possibly.
didn't spin a bearing. That looks good. Oh, what? The That's the good side. The cases would be good if this didn't get sucked through that rotary valve. They must have been using it as a wood chipper. That one hasn't spun in a while. Ooh. There's one. <laughs> what about the rods? Kind of noisy. This one and this one are good. The rest of them are not. Not a one of them. Scrap iron. Now that it's dry, I don't know, is it sawdust? It's just a fine, pasty dirt. I don't know. Big gouges. Scrap aluminum. Over a billion, three hundred million, trillion, three hundred million dollars. You know, I don't know if there's one good part on here. Look at that. Bent needle. What the fuck? <laughs> Just put it back. So what does $200 give you? A headache. Options are just take it to the dump. I'm pretty sure that'd be the smartest idea. I already bought a bunch of parts for it because I'm an idiot. Option number two is I saw on eBay a whole engine. A thousand. leaning towards or I could piece together an engine I saw a couple crankcases crankshaft and I think I'd be about the same money as the used new to me engine agree with me go to Joe 30330 and help me in this fight I'm not sure what the smartest route is. Probably just scrapping the smartest. Like I said, there's nothing good here. That piston is just... Didn't be too bad on the cylinder, though. This is the bad cylinder with the bad piston. This is the good cylinder, but they ran a bolt in there and smashed it into the valve. So the good cylinder is worse than the bad cylinder. Crank is shot. Case is shot. This plate is shot. The oil pump must be shot because they pulled the lever off. There's no oil in the lines. The rotary valve is shot. The head is shot. The stator was burning wires, so it's probably no good. The pipe is smashed. And what's left? The recoil is loose and has a hole they welded back in. <coughs> what that's all about. Front is smashed. The track is missing half its lugs. Skis are shot. I mean, there's nothing good on here. Scrap yard won't take it with the seat and the track under it. So I gotta either cut them off or... So I knew it was gonna be bad, but I didn't think it was gonna be this bad. I thought I'd be able to hone it so there's new factory skidoo rings, new gasket kit, this is a clutch rebuild kit for the exploded clutch, there's that new throttle cable, I saw that broken up air filter so I bought one of them, I saw one grip was bad there so I got some new grips, burned some of this and some of that and some of the other thing, primers always go bad on those, and a fuel pump rebuild kit and a that's for the raid that her exhaust manifold gaskets. Yes, oh, and a bumper. All stuff. New trailing arms. Straight at least. And a 
tried to buy a set of twin pipes from the guy off Marketplace and got screwed out 200 bucks as well as a manual a manual for a 670 a shop manual some guy screwed me out of 12 dollars for one who screws someone over for 12 dollars just got the new clutch in the mail today got damaged in shipping it's nice and flat on one side well maybe i didn't get scammed on the book yeah it's a book 670 HO of gap minimum 11,000 max 16,000 pretty sure I got a eighth inch groove in it so has to be flat you can sand it but you can't gain over that 16,000 right here it shows that but I think she's junk one good part someone sent me a cylinder that's pretty good mm -hmm. 